Compliments of the season, everybody. It is the Easter season. And I do sincerely pray that you will truly experience Easter. And um, if you have been here over the last couple of weeks, you know that we've been talking about succession planning. And I've said it time and time again that successful succession is your road to immortality. That's exactly what Easter is all about. Easter is about the resurrection of Christ as an example of the fact that those who follow him in strict compliance with his tenets will also live forever. I pray you experience that power. And that takes us to what we are trying to do this week, which is the final video in the succession planning series. And what have we been trying to say? We've been trying to say that you need to worry and start thinking about succession, about when you will no longer be available to run your enterprise. If you are truly an entrepreneur, meaning you are not just working for the money or for the fame or for the sense of power or for what money can achieve or money can buy, now, not when you are a year away from stopping or when something happens suddenly that you are not able to continue, that is not when you start worrying about succession planning. You need to worry about it now. And we've said that to achieve that, there are four broad principles that we'd like to bring to your attention. The first is the need to acquire that succession mindset. The second is the fact that you must communicate it very strongly and very effusively around your organizations and anybody connected with it. And the third, which had a couple of sub-points under it, is that you must work on institutionalizing it. And the last is that you need not fear. We also spend some time to say, why do entrepreneurs find it difficult to run with this um, scheme? You need to check that out so that you don't fall into the same trap. But this week, I just thought it is necessary to recap the um, advantages that I have sprinkled around in the course of this series so that it's all in one place. And then I'm hoping that it will eventually then serve as a final punch in my effort to encourage you to start today to do something about succession. What are the advantages when you do and you are successful in implementing a seamless transition? Number one is that even before you have to do the exit for yourself in the organization, it will lead you to run a more efficient and effective organization. Because if you are going to do it well, you will have spent time to build your business processes. Now, those business processes will deliver efficiency, they will deliver eff effectiveness, and they will deliver control to you. And even while you are actively involved in the business, you will reap the benefit. The second benefit closely related to that is that imagine a business that is running on autopilot, cruising, where everybody knows what needs to be done. There are checks, there are balances. It doesn't revolve around you as a matter of every activity. What will happen to you? It frees you to dream new dreams. It frees you to create the new games, the new frontiers, the expansion, the consolidation of the business. Because you currently know that the one that you've done is on good footing and is running well. That's the benefit that you get from worrying about succession. The third is that on the personal side, the more free you are, the more controlled your business is, the easier it is for you to have a life. Yes, it's okay to be passionate. Yes, it is okay to be excited about your business. But remember that there are other sides to you. If you are married, your family needs your time. If you have a passion, a social cause, a social interest, you need to give it time. If you got interest in sports, in other businesses, you need time. What this does for you is that 
he allows you to be more. Running an effective and efficient succession planning system allows you to be more and become more. The fourth, and by no means um, insignificant to the others, is the fact that it allows you to attract talent. Any system that is deliberate about succession will be a good destination for talent because they know that if they give, they can get. And the fact that it's not guaranteed means that competition will be very strong. Not destructive competition, but productive competition. Like what you hear in a good football team, where everybody is fighting for a shirt because there is no superstar who is thinking he is head and shoulder above others. And because you are not guaranteed a shirt, every training, every match, every competition, everybody goes in trying to do their best because they know one sloppy performance, you may have to be, you may have to move to the bench. In the same way, you will not only attract the talent, they will keep struggling and fighting because it is one thing to get into the talent pool, it's another thing to remain there. Closely related to that is the fact that by the time you then have to leave, you are living with a lot of peace of mind. You already have seen the business run without you, so it is not something you are holding your breath. Before you eventually decide to take a walk and let the business run like a mother will let go the, the adult child, you have seen that it has a capacity to run, you've tested all the individuals, and so you know that you have very little to fear about unless there is a crisis. And last but not the least is the fact that it liberates you, it gives you the confidence to retire, to step aside, knowing clearly that you have a house that is in order. You have a very tight team, a very tight process, and it is not in doubt what can happen when you are gone. Why? Because you will have seen it happen while you are still there. Nothing can give you a better peace of mind. Now, I would like to close by putting these thoughts out there. Money is a means to an end. That's your business. Don't ever forget was not the destination. It was supposed to be a means to an end. To solve a problem, to make a difference, to build a career, to build an enterprise. Do not turn the journey into the destination. Do not turn the journey into the destination. Your business, your enterprise is a journey. Do your bit, lay the good foundation, assemble the right team, set them up to do better than you have been able to do, step aside and continue on your journey to the next bus stop. I've enjoyed this session. I've enjoyed this series. I hope it makes sense to you. And I'm inviting you to please write in. Let's know what you've learned. Let's know if there's anything you want us to clarify. And if there's something you still want us to attend to, let us know. If it takes us to get in touch with you directly, we will. If it's something we have to address by way of another um, video, we sure will do that. So, as you celebrate Easter, don't forget that every one of us from Delhi wishes you a most wonderful season. And um, I pray, like I started, that you will truly experience Easter. And um, this brings to conclusion our series on succession planning. Next week, we'll move on to another zone. I'm sure you are wondering, that, you are wondering what that will be. Make it a date so that you can find out. So, until then, don't ever forget that T-Mark is still my name and that all we are trying to do in d is what? Make a little difference. I hope to see you next week. Bye!